It was an early spring day in New York City. Winter's chill still hung in the air, but hints of warmer weather were starting to break through. So that wasn't me. Actually, it was kind of not me. And let me explain. That is an AI clone of my voice. And I've been producing audiobooks now for well over a year and getting them published on all the major platforms using a system called Eleven Labs. And so in this video, I want to walk you through the steps of doing this the right way, where you can clone your own voice that you could use for audiobooks, podcasts, and more. So let's jump right into it. We're going to walk through all the steps. Now, the first step, step number one, is you're going to need to grab an Eleven Labs account. There's a link directly below in the description. You can start with a completely free account. It'll give you 10,000 credits per month. That won't allow you to do a whole lot, but you can begin experiencing how the software works. But to get to the ability to clone your voice, you're going to at least need this creator account level. And if you've got a lot of books you want to turn into audiobooks or podcasts, then you're going to want that pro account. All right. Once you do, you come into here. Let's go into home. And once you're in home, there's a lot of things that you can do here. And we're not going to walk through all of them in this particular video. But I want to focus in on audiobooks specifically because it's a perfect use case for what you can do. Now, what you need to do before you even get into the audiobooks is come over here to clone your voice. And when you come over here to clone your voice, you have two options. Either number one, you do an instant voice clone which you only need about 10 seconds of audio. Doesn't take very long, it takes two minutes for it to happen. I would recommend if you're going to do something that is going to be professional production, like audiobooks, that you go up here to the professional voice clone. Now, the level that I have, you can only have one professional voice clone, which honestly, that's all you need. So that's why I have to subscribe to go up higher, but you won't have to, because I've already done mine. It only takes about five minutes. Now, it does require at least 30 minutes of clean audio. So this is what I would recommend. If you've already done an audiobook in the past, or you've done any kind of extensive webinar, recording, video training, as long as the quality is decent, a public speech could work, and you could use those for sure. And what Eleven Labs is going to do, it's going to re or deconstruct your own voice, your inflections, the emphasis that you put on words. So you don't want to just have it to be monotone. Now, it was fortunate for me, I already had at least two or three audiobooks that I had already recorded fully myself. So I was able to upload one of those audiobooks so that it could be trained on my voice. If you don't have any of that, what I would recommend is to grab a book, maybe your own book, maybe just a book you like that's easy reading, of course, and record yourself just reading it. Don't worry if you mess up. It's not a big deal. It's not for a professional production. It's just for the AI, in this case, to be able to deconstruct your voice. So that's step one of the process, and it honestly does not take long. In about five minutes, you will have your voice. And once you do, you can see mine is right here. And if I a failure is a man who has blundered, but is not capable of cashing in on the experience. Now you can see that it sounds exactly like me, which is shocking. This was interesting. I really wanted to make sure that the quality was good before I even considered this option for me in my business. So I took a chapter of my book. This was about a year ago. And I had the AI in 11 labs completely record the chapter of the audiobook. Then I called my wife in. Who knows my voice best? It's her. I said, hey, I want you to listen to a chapter of an audiobook I recorded. Listen to it. And she said, yeah, sounds good. Did a great job. I said, is there anything unusual about it? No. Did you pick up on anything? No. I said, it actually wasn't me. It was an AI voice clone of myself. Now, I should also mention that when you create your AI voice clone, it's not available on the public platform. So no one's gonna be able to steal your likeness and go and create it based on the fact that you trained it. This is for your private use only, which I think is really important. All right, the next step in this process 
is if you want to test it out, you can go to this text to speech part of the platform and just grab any text. It doesn't matter. And then you're going to want to come down here. Obviously, you want to make sure you choose your own voice and you want to play with this a little bit. So if you want the speed, if you feel like the speed's too slow and you want to speed up your pace a little bit, you can move this from slower to faster. Stability. Now, stability is going to end up right here in the middle. The truth is it's a little bit better if you move the stability actually down a tad. You don't have to do a whole lot in between 40, 45 might be good. But as it says here, increasing stability is going to make the voice more consistent. But notice this, it makes it sound a bit more monotone. So on longer text, like an audiobook, we recommend lowering this value. So I tend to drop mine somewhere around 40 for that. Similarity, I bumped this up to about 90%. I want it to be really similar, but you want to make sure not to go too extremely high on this because as it says, going too high can create, let me go back, can create some artifacts. So adjusting the setting to find the optimal value is encouraged. Down here at the bottom, the last one is style exaggeration. I tend to just leave this alone. And you can read here a little bit more if you want to play around with it. I do have the speaker boost on. And then you just take a piece of your text, hit generate speech. It was an early spring day in New York City. Winter's chill still hung in the air, but hints of warmer weather were starting to break through. Despite the cold breeze against his face. This All right. So then you just listen to it until you get one that you like, right? And then you want to save that and it's going to save those settings. All right, so the next step in this process is to get your book manuscript. Now, when I first did this a year and a half ago, whenever I first started using this, they did not have the studio feature like I'm about to show you, which was incredibly helpful. I had to copy and paste around four or five paragraphs at a time, do the audiobook. It was monotonous, but you don't have to do that any longer. You can actually export your book out of wherever you, you wrote your book and import it. It'll take EPUBs, which are typically what we use to publish Kindle books. It'll take a PDF. I find that EPUB tends to work the best. So for example, I like to use Atticus to write and publish all of my books. And so if I were coming in here, I would select my book of choice. I would come over here to edit the book details and I would probably download the EPUB version. Then I would come over to 11 Labs and you're gonna come down here to Studio. And you're gonna click on New Audiobook. All right, here you're going to drag and drop the audiobook that you just downloaded. Again, it takes EPUB, PDF, a text file, HTML, or even a doc file. I find the EPUB has worked the best for me. And then you're gonna to wanna to pick your voice if it's not already selected and click Create Project. Now I've already done that with an audiobook I'm working on right now. So let's go and see what it actually looks like once we put it in here. All right, so once you get in here, you will be able to work on your project as much as you want. So if we go back over here to Studio, Scroll down a little bit, you can see right here, the 90 Day Teacher audiobook. Now, what it does is it will actually pull in and divide up the chapters, and that's why the EPUB tends to work the best for me. So once I pull this in here, I've got my setting over here applied. There's one very important setting that when I've taught some of my students this they did not get their audiobook accepted originally because it did not have the right audio quality settings to get your audiobook accepted into ACX or Audible, places like that. So there's one important setting that you got to make sure you go check out. So if you come over here to the three little dots and click on that and go to project settings, over here, we're going to look at, you got this 11 Labs multilingual version two model. There's different models. I actually like this high quality one. You may have to upgrade to a higher tier. I've never gone higher than the $99 plan. And by the way, here's a little pro tip. If you're not actively recording an audiobook, but you want to keep your clone voice, you can downgrade. So there's been periods where I was working on a book and I didn't really have 
a lot of use case for 11 labs. I took it all the way down to the $5 a month so that I could still keep my clone voice. And then when it came time to do my next audiobook, I just went back up to the $99 plan to enable me to have all the high quality features I needed. All right, so once you come in here, you're gonna choose that model, which that's the one I like to use. I got my voice. You wanna make sure this enable chapters is on. It's already enabled because I've already uploaded it. But if you were to start a project from scratch, it's not gonna have enable chapters on this. We'll talk about why that's important a little bit later. Export. Now this is the key right here. This by default is turned off. You'll need to turn this on so that it will normalize volume to meet the audiobook standards. You've got metadata here. You can go put in or not put in. It's up to you. You can also check out the advanced, which I just don't mess with. I leave it alone. That's really important so that you make sure that the quality is good when you are downloading your files. Now, this is really important, and I want to make sure to stress this. Listen to your audiobook. Even though the quality is really good, every once in a while, you're going to hear a word that just because the English language is the wrong kind of word. And you're going to need to have to spell it out a little bit differently, even if it's misspelled, to get the system or your clone voice to say it correctly. I just battled this morning when I was working on my audiobook. One of my chapters talks about fishing with my kids and how my son caught a bass. It kept wanting to say bass, B-A-S-S -S, as bass guitar instead of a bass. So I had to work in like adding the word fish or something in there. Sometimes you can misspell it, but spell it in a way that sounds like the right wording. And I nailed it. And so you can regenerate a certain sentence if you run into things like that. So just be aware that I would not put my audiobook in here, just export all the audio files and go upload them. Occasionally, you might hit something where it just messes up. It says something weird or it's not even in English. Very rarely happens, but it might happen once or twice in an entire audiobook. And so this is what I personally do. I put my AirPods in, go and I hit play. I speed it up to about 1.5, sometimes 2.0 to listen to the audiobook to make sure that the quality is where I want it to be and that there's not any mess ups or it's saying the inflection wrong. But the good news is 11 Labs has gotten so much better since when I first started using it. I find myself editing maybe five or six times over the course of a three hour audiobook. So it's not a lot, but I want to keep my quality standards high. All right. So I would come in here and I would just hit play. Introduction. I would speed it up. Momentum beats mastery every time. Success doesn't come from knowing everything. It comes from doing the right things in the right order. That's the difference between the people who finally launch their teaching business and the ones who stay stuck on the sidelines. So let me ask you, how many times have you said to yourself, I'll start teaching once I feel ready, only to watch the weeks turn into months and the months into years? I've been there. When I lost my recruiting job back in 2009, I felt like the rug had been pulled out from under me. I had no backup plan, no guarantee of income. Now, let's say that I, when I was listening to this, that honestly, I was scared. That didn't say it right. Maybe it said, honestly, I was skiard or something like that, which it doesn't, but I'm using it as an example. What I like to do is just tab down because again, this is just audio. It doesn't make the audio like create space in between the words. I would highlight this and then I would just go back and I would hit regenerate. And it's going to regenerate that statement. And a lot Honestly, of times I was scared, but here's what I discovered. What if it skips like that, you can also go back here to the beginning, put it back on 1.0 and re-listen to those steps. But it's very important that if you find something that just didn't quite sound right, you can re regenerate that. Now, here's the good news. On the different pricing tiers, I find that I have plenty of credits to use. So if you're at the $99 level, I've done two entire audiobooks and still had credits. So even if you wanted to be at that $21 level or one of the lower packages, you could still be fine, but just know that you might bump into the credit issue. Once you're done and once you've listened to your audiobook, and you can see here, I right now at the time of this recording, I've got about three more chapters to go, but I'll just show you what I would do. If assuming that I was ready to go and I was done, I would come up here, hit this export button, and then it's got, do you want the full project? Do you want just this chapter that you're on right now? I would go for full project. 
Do you want a single file or chapters in a zip file? I would highly encourage you to have chapters in a zip file. And the reason we want to do that is because typically when you upload your audiobook, whether that's Findaway Voices, Spotify, or ACX, which has Audible, you they want you to upload it chapter by chapter. So each individual file or each individual chapter is its own file. And so you want to export it that way. If you wanted to give away your audiobook to your audience and you wanted them just to have the single file, three hours of audio or however long your audiobook is, without having all the different chapter files, you could also download it as a single file. But I typically will hit this chapters zip file. I will export it here and then I will go and upload it wherever I have, wherever I want to publish my audiobook. So those are the steps. This is an amazing thing that can save your voice, but I still, it still takes time. I still listen to my entire audiobook. Uh, granted, I listen to it a little bit faster speed and I make corrections as I go, but it avoids all the mess ups and all of the longer times it takes to record an audiobook. There's been times where in my home studio here, I've been in the middle of recording my audiobook and a loud car goes driving by and I'm like, oh, I got to redo it again or a loud thunder happens and you don't have that issue when you've cloned your voice. And so this is a simple system I've been using now. I have probably published anywhere between six and seven audiobooks this way now over the last year and a half and I will continue to use this service. So again, if you want to try out 11 Labs, click on that link below. Go check it out for free. Play around with it for 10,000 credits. You can do a lot of things with that and give it a try. And if you want to clone your voice, again, just upgrade to one of the other plans and go get your voice cloned. All right, what do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below if you like tutorials like this. And also check out some of my other videos. I talk all about book publishing, membership sites, courses, and more. In fact, you can find a video right here to dive into more info like this. We'll see you over in that next video.